Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. That was far too aggressive, I'm really sorry. Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna now start seeing my videos. Ollie, can you auto-tune this please? Welcome back to another episode of I'm trying out makeup and hoping it doesn't suck. iTunes, you know the drill. Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Music. I think Amazon Music's a thing. Um, soon, sometime soon. In today's video, we are trying out Everything Five Pounds makeup. Yes, Everything Five Pounds has makeup. I didn't know, did you know? Because I sure as hell didn't know, but I was on there the other day, I picked up some outfits and I'm gonna be doing like a little TikTok styling video because if you couldn't tell by the name, everything on Everything Five Pounds is five pounds-ish. Cost of living has gotten to them. Now things are like five pounds 50, five pounds 95, but they're still like, they're still less than six pounds. And yeah, I was on there the other day and I saw they have makeup. So I picked up a full face and it's called like, Wow London. I'm hoping it's gonna be a good wow, like a wow, and not like a wow, this sucks. So we're gonna try it out today and see how it looks. It's kind of how these things go. So if you guys like these videos, if you wanna see more of me trying out like random brands or like super affordable brands, let me know in the comments down below or just give this video a big thumbs up. And um, while you're there, while you're just down there in the depths of YouTube, subscribe if you haven't already, because I upload all the damn time. And um, that would be great, actually. Like that, that would actually be really, really cool if you could do that. Thank you. Um, let's put on some makeup, because I look like I've died. I look very shiny. I'm a, bit, I'm a bit sweaty, to be honest. I've been wiggling around too much, but um, makeup is needed. Let's go. So as you can probably imagine, everything from everything five pounds is five pounds. Actually, that's a lie. You are a liar, actress. Go to fuck out. That, no, aggressive. I need to relax. Can we have a moment, like zen moment, please? That really helped. Most things are five pounds. In fact, I think they usually have a sale, so a lot of the time they have like a half price sale, but some things are like two pound fifty. Either way, I'll be putting it all on screen like I normally do. Shall I stop talking and shall I just put this on my face? So the names that they have on these products aren't the most inventive things in the world, so this is just a face primer. And uh, it, what I actually really do enjoy about this though is it has like a user manual on the back. Wash your face with a gentle cleanser, apply moisturizer, squirt a pea-sized amount of primer, no, 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 put it on your face, basically. Packaging is nice, packaging is fine. Like for five pounds or however however much this is, I'll, you'll see on screen, because um, I bought this quite a while ago. But however much this is, for around about five up, the packaging is simple, but pretty nice. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Bloop. Oh God, it's like, like what? It's like beige. Why am I so enthralled by that? That was a big word for me. Okay, it feels kind of silicone-y, but not quite. That's a good description. It feels like moisturizing, but also like it's got kind of like a poor professional sort of aspect to it. Doesn't seem to have any smell. That actually feels quite nice, you know? It doesn't feel like, you know how you have pore filling primers that are just like, it's just like putting one of those like silicone bras on your face and you have to like mush it in. This actually applied really, really nicely. I have a brow gel as well to try, and by the way, I ordered these bits uh, before Christmas actually, so I can't actually remember what the colors were like, and they didn't have any swatches on the website, so fingers crossed, I don't look like something out of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. What I'm referencing to is an Oompa Loompa. Don't chip a tooth, don't chip a tooth. Mm. I'm gonna try this brow gel. I got it in the shade clear just because I don't normally use like tinted brow gels anymore. But I don't know if it's gonna be the kind of brow gel that I normally like. Like I like to fully soap up my brows. Um, so we'll see, I might have to apply more in a minute, but we'll give it a go. Doesn't smell of anything either. My brows are looking moist. <gasps> oh my God, guys, I'm getting my micro, I know I've been speaking about it for ages, but I'm getting my microblading, like the end bits removed soon. Like everything else is pretty much gone, but because I now like pluck the ends of my brows off, this is just not like, it's just not a vibe. And so I'm actually getting it removed soon. Very excited, I might do a TikTok on it. I don't feel like it's necessarily gonna stick my brows up that much, but I'm just gonna get them kind of tame for a minute. And then if I need to go in with more of this in a second, then I will. Yeah, I don't feel like that's gonna do much. The hell's going on? I'm gonna spoolie them upwards because I feel like I need to go in with this. Yeah, I'm not sure this is gonna hold up the pubes on my forehead that well, but we will see. What if I like slick them down with this nubby? No, I just look like a 50 year old man. 
Shout out to all the 50 year old men watching this video. Are there any of you? If there are any 50 year old men watching this video, let me know because I feel like that's not necessarily my target audience. You are very welcome here, but I would like to know, are there any 50 year old men watching this video right now? Because shout out to all my 50 year old men in the comments. I'm really sorry, this video is gonna be chaotic and I have no idea why. Now we're gonna try the foundation, which is the product that I'm probably the most afraid of because this could go either very, very right or very, very wrong. This is just the HD foundation. It says it's ultra coverage and I got it in the shade 108. And like I said, they didn't have any swatches or anything online. So I kind of had to go by just like going for like the middle one and kind of hoping it worked for me. So we'll see. It's got a nice glass bottle. It's got a little pump as well. I mean, it might be a little bit too like ashy looking, like a little bit too cool tone, but I think we can make that work. Although it does seem to be oxidizing pretty quickly on my hand, look. Like I've got uh, like a fresh tan on and it's a little bit darker than normal. I don't know how this is gonna work, we'll see. Oh, this could be problematic, couldn't it? I don't wanna do it all over my face because this might not be very good. Definitely too dark. I'm gonna check what my concealer looks like. I got this in the shade 04, because maybe we can balance this out and maybe I'll just put this on like my cheeks and a little bit on my foreheads. So this is the anti-aging concealer. Ooh, you know what? That's nice. It's got a little like metal tip to it. Should be nice and cooling on my under eyes. I've been sleeping so much recently, but I'm still absolutely knackered. Okay, that concealer is a lot lighter. That's fine. I'm, oh, <laughs> didn't realize I did that. I'm gonna put this, like the foundation, over the sides of my face. I know, okay, like don't come at me in the comments. I know this is too dark for me, but the website was a diff bit difficult to figure out a color for me. So I'm gonna put this on for a minute and I don't want anyone to think I'm being problematic because I'm not, it's just life. Oh, man, that's way too dark for me. Okay, um, if you're my skin color, don't go for number 108. Um, I feel like once I put concealer like here and everywhere else on my face, we can balance it out. Like the undertone's not too bad, but the color is like four shades too dark, but we're just gonna blend it out. And you guys are just gonna um, know that I didn't do this on purpose. You know what? Once again, Let's ignore the color for just five minutes. The finish of it actually looks pretty good. I feel like it's covered up my, like a little bit of redness pretty well, but I am gonna go in with a crap ton of this concealer here. So this one's in the shade 04, and I'm gonna lighten everything up with this. I do like that it's got a nice little metal applicator. Let's see what you got. Thankfully, this is a way better color, so hopefully we can kind of balance everything out a bit with this. Why is this actually looking decent? I went to check on the Everything Five Pounds website just to like make sure that everything was like still on the website and they hadn't gotten rid of their beauty section. And most things are half price right now. So get your little fingers on down to your phone, your laptop, your fax machine, whatever it is, because so far this is actually looking really, really kind of good. I'm gonna take a bit of that excess on my jaw. Just gonna slap my face for a minute. Yeah, dude, why is this actually looking kind of great? We need to do a lot of lightening still, but the finish is actually looking really, really good. The concealer looks really nice, actually. I'm just gonna like paint all the way down my neck and hope I'm not allergic to this. My friends, if you can get the right color for you, this actually looks really, really nice so far. We still need to wait to see how it looks once I've done everything else, but on first impressions, this actually looks way better than so many other foundations and concealers I've tried recently. Like this is actually looking really, really good. It's giving me like a medium to full coverage. It looks dewy, but it doesn't look wet or oily. Huh, this might be a good wow. For the first time in this video, I'm actually a little bit speechless because this is actually looking really, really good. Okay, next we're gonna try out this powder. I'm gonna try it out on one side of my face first because actually if this doesn't work, I'm gonna try my Laura Mercier powder with it to see like if it works with that. There's a cat hair on my lip, I can feel it. I might just have to deal with it. It might just have to become part of me. But yeah, I got this in the shade 01. I believe this is the translucent one. And it's got a little puff. 
It's got a little mirror. So you know what, the packaging is like very, very simple and quite basic looking, but actually it's kind of got everything you need. Ooh, it actually looks really kind of good. Wait, have I stumbled across like a mythical mm, dial up going on in my head right now? A mythical, a good brand. Yep, we'll go with that. I'm very intrigued right now. Honestly, I always say it, I love trying out like pretty much any makeup, whether it's the most affordable makeup, whether it's like the most random makeup products, whether it's super expensive, whatever. But my favorite thing is when I try out like a brand that no one ever really talks about or that isn't like, you know, available in like the standard stores and it actually looks good. Hopefully I'm not speaking too soon, but this is literally like, when this kind of thing happens, it's one of my most favorite things because a cheap brand that's like normally on sale, and it seems pretty good. Okay, let's try it with my fluffy brush. I'm just gonna slap my face with a bit of hair for a minute. No, why is this actually looking kind of good? <laughs> I actually do kind of want to try it with um, a different powder though. Do I have my Laura Mercier one here? No, but I have my Huda Beauty one here, which is like another favorite. I'm gonna try it out with Huda Beauty to see if it looks even better. Like I want to compare the two powders. The Huda Beauty one is more matte but it's actually still looking kind of decent. But you know what, for this makeup, I actually think I prefer this powder. Let's proceed to the roots. I've got to say, the brow gel right now has done nothing but give my brows a little brush. Um, so yeah, there's that, but otherwise everything's looking kind of good so far. Maybe a little bit patchy up here. Yeah, maybe a little bit patchy, that might be my fake tan. Some of you in my recent, like one of my recent videos anyway, called me out for my fake tan beard. And I, I wanna chat to you. You're right, I did have a fake tan beard, but I'm trying out loads of different facial tanners at the moment because I'm like whittling down my tan collection. And um, yeah, the one that I was using before, it's gone. I've passed it on. We're, we're no longer friends because it gave me a beard and that's not what I'm looking for. But I don't know if it's, this other fake tan that's maybe looking a bit patchy, I'll have to like reference my other video. Do I even know what I'm doing, where I live, who I am at this point? No, but it ain't looking too bad. Can we all agree on that? I could probably do with a bit more powder, but I'm gonna leave it for a second just to see how everything settles down. So now we're gonna move on to bronzer. So this is just called the bronzer in the shade 02. Looks like this, looks maybe a little bit more red tone than I would normally go for, but again, I had to look on the website, like please, everything five pounds, please have better swatches on the website because actually so far your products are kind of good, um, but it's just a little bit difficult to figure out like the colors and everything. But yeah, I got this one and I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. I'm not gonna apply too much because I am a little bit deeper than I would like to be, but I do still wanna give this a go. It's a bit muddy looking, but it is kind of difficult to tell because of this color on my skin. But compared to some of the other brands that I've tried, um, this is working out way better than some other brands I've tried. So yeah, I feel like the bronzer is actually quite nice, but if I had my usual sort of foundation on, it would work a lot better just because I feel like with the color of my foundation right now and with the color of this bronzer, it is looking a little bit muddy. Um, but the bronzer seems to be applying really nicely. It's not making anything look any more patchy. I'm actually really curious to see how this all ends up because like so far it's a good wow compared to a bad wow. Bad wow. There's no mirror in this. I'm now gonna go in with the highlighter and I am praying that this is really, really good. So this is in the shade 02 and it's like a baked looking highlighter and the color looks really nice. This is what we've got going on here. Get on me face. Why am I such like a creepy old woman when I say that? I'm like, get on my face. Sometimes people are like, oh, I didn't realize you had ADHD. I'm like, really? <laughs> really? Okay, let's try this highlighter. You know what? Like the tiniest bit textured, but if I just blend this foundation that's way too dark, but if I just tap my foundation brush over the top of that, that doesn't look too bad. I like the color. Oh God, let's try it up here. Try and cover up a little bit of that patchiness. Like don't go thinking you're gonna be getting like Pat McGrath makeup, but actually looks quite pretty. I really, really like the color and I 
bet once I leave that on my skin for like 20 minutes or so, it's gonna really like settle in, like the juices from my skin, the moistness, sorry if you hate that word, is gonna come out and probably like soften it a little bit, but I actually think that's kind of dope. Yes, okay, this, this is very good. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this blusher here. This is in the shade 09, and it's this nice like bright pink sort of shade, kind of matches the little pom-poms on my head. And I'm gonna go right in the middle of my bronzer and my highlighter. If you saw my recent like tips video, um, you'll know that I always do this to basically like blend everything together. Looks a lot more baby pink on the skin than it does in the pan. I'm only using a small amount because remember, I my biggest phobia is blush, but I'm getting there. I'm actually into this, you know? Like, it's not too pigmented, but it's pigmented enough so you can build it up. It's matte, but it doesn't look dusty. And it's got that like trending kind of like baby pink look to it. So the uh, Everything Five Pounds uh, Wow London number no. nine blush could actually be a potential dupe for the Dior one and only like 400 pounds cheaper. Why is this actually looking really good? And like now I've gone over this little patch on my forehead a little bit with like bronzer and blush and stuff. It actually doesn't look very patchy. Like this is actually working. Okay, I'm gonna do my lips before I do my eyes because I only have one lip color to choose from. So I got this lip liner in the shade 15. Oh my God, man, this packaging is gonna be the death of me. I tried to go for something that was like my usual kind of like rosy pink, but I think we're going for more of like a bright kind of like pinky purple today. Ooh, that's really pigmented. <laughs> Hang on, <laughs> this is like one of the most pigmented lip liners I've seen in a while. So I'm gonna line like the majority of my lips and I'm gonna put a different color in the center in a second. This is definitely not the color I was expecting, but it's very, very pigmented. So now I'm just thinking, okay, well next time I do an order, maybe I'll just have to get loads of the lip liners because they're actually really, really nice. We might be on something here. We might be on something. So now I'm gonna try out the Lip Plump Lipstick. This is in the shade 08. And again, I tried for something like a nice sort of like neutral-ish kind of rosy pink. This is not that. <laughs> so just know that the swatches online aren't the best representation of the color you're gonna get. Um, we're going full Barbie right now, so this is like a full-on baby pink color. Okay, it's quite sheer, luckily. So, hopefully I don't look too ridiculous. Ooh, very creamy. It's got like a little bit of a sheen to it. Not the lip color I would normally go for, but as far as like this color of lip goes, it's not too bad. Interesting. Wait, so it says lip plump. Yeah, okay, good. I was thinking for a second, I was like, am I having an allergic reaction? But it actually says, um, gives a tingling sensation, swells your lips, and I can feel that. So that's kind of fun. I'm gonna just tap that in. I can definitely feel the plump. Okay. Just like sharpened up my lip line a little bit with a touch of concealer. Now we're gonna go in with this eyeshadow palette. And this is just as much of a, as a surprise to me as it is you guys, because I cannot remember what sort of color I chose. But this is just called the Shine On Eyeshadow Palette. And oh, neutrals, okay, good. Because I feel like if I did a super colorful eye look with these lips, it might look a bit ridiculous, uh, says the girl with pom-poms on her head. But yeah, got a bunch of neutrals here and a teeny tiny little brush. This brush, thought it could be useful, but actually no, it feels like it's just gonna stab me, but this one could be good for like cutting the crease or something. I'm gonna take a little bit of my P. Louise base just to give this eyeshadow the best chance it's got. So I'm gonna take this pink shade here, which is like a nice kind of like baby matte pink, and I'm gonna lightly blend that in my crease. I don't want it to necessarily be like too pigmented or anything. I just want there to be something in my crease for a minute. Uh, I mean, I'm noticing it's like defining my crease ever so slightly, but it's not like packing too much of a punch. Just gonna build it up for a minute. I mean, you can see there's a little something going on here. It's not the most pigmented thing in the world, but it's kind of doing the job. Hang on, I need to let Michael in, he's screaming at me. Ow. Why are you screaming so much? Oh, really bang my leg then. Hello, Michael. 
Okay, let's switch things up a little bit. I wanna go with something that's maybe a little bit deeper, so I'm gonna go in with this shade here. They don't have names or anything. Ooh, that looks quite pigmented. And just put that over the top. Okay, that's a bit more pigmented. You can see that a little bit more. Okay, that's not looking too bad. Right, I've changed my mind completely because I actually kind of want to use the deeper tones so that I can just see how pigmented everything is. So I don't know what eye look we're going to end up with. We're going we're gonna to figure it out as we go along. But I'm just taking a little bit of this deeper shade here. It's kind of like a deep grey purple almost. And I'm going to blend that into my outer corner. And then work it ever so slightly in my crease. I mean, they're not the most pigmented eyeshadows in the world, but I feel like they are something that you can make work. Let's maybe try and do something a little bit more cool tone, like a cool tone copper shimmer or something. But I actually feel like that just kind of looks all right. It's not the most insane eye look in the world, but it kind of looks decent. Okay, I'm, I wanna use this little teeny tiny brush, so I'm gonna take some of the, uh, I think I'm gonna go in with this color here, like this kind of like cool toned, bronzy sort of shade, and I pick that up on this brush, and we'll see what this can do. It's not bad. Like, you can see a little shimmer. I'll try it with my finger. I will be honest, I would much rather use a brush than my finger, but, I mean, it's not the smoothest shimmer in the world, but it, it does still give you a shimmer. So that's useful. Like, don't get me wrong, I would much rather use a brush than my finger, just because then I have to clean my finger and then it's a, a whole extra step in my whole routine. But that's not bad. It's not the most like intense shimmer in the world, but again, we're talking about makeup that costs less than a fiver here. I'm gonna take a little bit of this one actually, just to see what this looks like. And just go slightly more into the inner corner with that. Yeah, you can see it's like showing a little bit of the texture on my eyelids, but it's still looking all right. Like I'm not necessarily expecting the most amazing products in the world right now, but so far it is really kind of holding its own. Like, I probably wouldn't go out with this color of foundation on just because when you do see, like, the rest of me, it it's not, it does just look a bit off. But the eyes and, like, how everything's actually applying, like, the textures and everything, it's looking, like, I would go out with this if the foundation color was different. I'm just taking a little bit of that highlighter and putting it in my inner corner. Whoa. Like, I feel like this eye look is fine. Like, it just looks like a nice little soft, smoky eye look. I'm, I'm, yeah, kind of into it. Next, I have this eyeliner here in the shade 02. Ooh, that actually looks kind of good. It's a nice color. It's like a very cool tone brown. And I'm gonna do a little wing. That actually looks really nice. And it's actually got one of those like brush tips. You know how the KVD tattoo liner um, has like a brush tip? It has one of those, which is quite nice. It's actually a really nice liner. Look, it's opaque. It went on really, really easily. I'm gonna do a little inner corner flick. I actually feel like that's a really, really good liner. You might be seeing more of this because actually if this doesn't clog up or dry out really quickly or anything, this, I think it's like £2.50 at the moment. It's really good. Really nice color as well. Next to mascara, I have the Ultimate Length Mascara. I think they have a few different types. So this is what the packaging looks like. Pretty standard, but again, like it's nice enough. And the wand looks like this, which is a little bit different to the usual ones that I go for. Give it a good old wiggle. It's kind of taking a second to really coat my lashes. I mean, it's fine. There's like, there's nothing necessarily overly wrong with it, but I don't know, like the Essence Mascara, the Primark Mascaras, they're a lot better, but this is still, you know, doing enough. But yeah, it's giving me like quite a nice little like wispy look to my lashes, and it's not making me go blind, which is a plus, yet. I'm gonna do a little bit on my lower lashes. That's all right. Like, I don't have anything amazing to say about it, but I also don't have anything overly bad to say about it either. Okay. I'm now gonna go and do the other eye, and then we're gonna try out these lashes with the very, very long bit of cardboard at the top. This made me laugh when I opened it. I was like, did you have some excess like going on here? But yeah, these are the... I actually have no idea. 
just says false eyelashes. I'll try and find the exact link to them and link them down below. But yeah, they look like this. They're just kind of like little wispy sort of lashes that sort of taper out on the ends. So I'm gonna go and do my other eyeball. I'm probably gonna sort my hair out a little bit as well and then we'll see what these lashes can do. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, did the other eyeball and yeah, apart from the color of the foundation, I'm actually really liking this. Actually, no, I am liking this, but also I don't know where it is. So I'm gonna carry on talking until I find it. Here it is, the brow gel. Ain't that good, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit more because my brows are doing that thing where they get sad and they start crying and then um, they just leak all over the rest of my face. Anyway, I'm just gonna carry on just filling in my brows for two seconds. Uh, how was your day? How's the fam? How are your pets? I often ask this, but please let me know what your animals are called. And actually, let me know if you know what all of my animals are called. <laughs> True fan, I have four and there's a special guest. There's not. <laughs> if you remember what my pet seagull used to be called, please inform me, that's why I have this tattoo, because he was my mate. And I'm tearing up for him, I need to stop because otherwise I don't know how this makeup will last, but let me know what my animals are called and let me know what yours are called. Okay, anyway. So while I'm like stopping myself from crying, about my pet seagull. Let's go in with these lashes. So yeah, I don't know what, it just says have a fabulash day, enjoy the pun. Um, it doesn't say what the style is, but we're gonna try them out anyway. They don't look like, the, I'll, I'll be honest, okay? They don't look like the best lashes in the world, but I figure if I can actually pick them up with my fingers, we can probably make these work. Where are my scissors? Please, be right back. They were on my desk the whole time and now I've lost a lash. What's wrong with me? I know I'll see it in a minute, but where have I actually... We're gonna do the other one for a minute. I'll probably do the other one. Welcome to like a day in my life where this is how my brain works. I literally just had it. I know these lashes aren't gonna be my favorite, but maybe we can do like a little, a little out of corner moment. I'm gonna use my duo glue. I don't know where that other lash has gone. I'll probably find it in like three years and go, there it is. Please tell me it's not just me that does this all of the time. Like I literally, I don't, I have packaging here, I have more packaging, I'm just gonna throw everything everywhere. Ah, where, where's my other lash? I'm gonna stick this one on anyway. Pop that on to my lashes and I'm gonna lift it ever so slightly on the outer corner. These actually slotted onto my eyes really easy. <laughs> I need to squish them down a little bit still, but I'm gonna, let them set there for a minute and I'm... Where is the other eyelash? I'm gonna squish this down a little bit. You know what? Like, I feel like if I ruffled a little spoolie on these lashes a little bit, just to kind of separate them a bit more and make them a little more random looking. I actually quite like these. I was bad mouthing them for a minute thinking they're not gonna be the best. I'm still looking for that eyelash while I talk to you all, but I was thinking they weren't gonna look the best, but actually they kind of look decent. I'm gonna run around my house and call the police and see if they've seen my eyelash. And I might be back in a minute with another eyelash. If not, I'm just gonna have one eyelash on. One sec. I am losing my mind. It's been about a quarter of an hour since I said I'd be back. I have literally looked in my other office. I've looked all around here. I've actually tid tidied up. I don't know where that lash has gone. I have absolutely no idea. So, um, nice knowing you. The lash could have been good. We could have had a moment, but actually we only have one lash on right now. Anyway, I am not gonna be going out in this makeup because it is, it might not necessarily look it on camera, but it is like, for me, it is a little bit too dark the way it's sort of like looking. It actually doesn't look bad on camera, but when I looked in the mirror, I was like, no. Um, but if I didn't have this slightly darker foundation on, I would actually go out in this. Like I might, like soften the lip color a little bit, but I really do think this actually looks quite nice apart from the single lash that I have on my face. But yeah, I'm really, really surprised as how good this looks. Look, I'm sorry everything five pounds. I thought this was gonna suck. I really did. I really thought this was gonna suck, but it actually does look really, really good. Like the eyes especially, if I did this with my usual foundation routine, we'd be on something. Yeah, I'm very, very impressed. So I'll link all the products down below as I normally do. But um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it here for now, guys. Hopefully I figure out where that lash is at some point in my life. I bet I'll find it 
that's literally just my luck. So um, yeah, guys, I'm gonna leave it here for now. If you enjoyed this video and if you do wanna see me trying out more kind of like niche brands, brands that people don't really tend to talk about, let me know and let me know what brands you guys want me to talk about down below. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out in this uh, slightly chaotic video. I don't know what's wrong with me today, but I'm gonna leave it here. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love ya. My hand's just like chilling here now and I will see you, you, in the next one. Love you, bye.